So we just did a walkthrough of the property since we are gonna be shooting a couple different places. We're just trying to visualize where we're gonna be actually shooting at. So we're now gonna get all our gear set up. So right now something that we're doing before the shoot starts, you wanna make sure that you guys have the same picture profile. And then from there, we wanna make sure you have the same white balance. So when you are syncing these interviews in the post, it looks like it's coming all from the same camera. All right, so right now our schedule got pushed back because we had to capture something else for the client. So what we're gonna to try to do is that we're actually gonna move our first interview to be our last interview so we can keep the whole production and time so we're not messing up everybody's schedule. It's a lot easier for you to move one person's interview towards the back than have to push everyone else's back. So we saw that, talked to her, she's very understanding. So don't do what he's doing now. What you wanna do next time is that you wanna take the dome off the light and then bring the dome separate from the light, which makes it a lot easier for you to transport it. Also, it's a lot easier for you not to run into things. So right now we're just doing a little bit of set design. We actually found this room. We thought it'd be really nice to do the interview. So we're just moving a couple of things out of the way. Quick thing, you guys saw this when we first started the recording. The reason you wanna use one of these cards is because we are using two different cameras and you wanna make sure that everything gets synced up. So by using one of these uh, data checkers, what you're able to do is you actually be able to pull the white balance from the camera, but then also do the colors from the different ones to make sure that everything's lining up. Something else, when you are conducting interviews, something that, you know, we had a list of questions that we were going through, but you want to be able to engage and have a conversation with people. So, you know, you just keep that in mind, be present, be in the moment, you know, just don't go through the questions, just ask questions, but actually engage with the person and have a conversation. And this is where you have really great interviews is when you're actually talking to someone, it actually helps them feel comfortable because now it's not like, you know, they are trying to hit these points. So now we're going to get set up for our next shot. You don't want to do interviews on swivel chairs for the most part because what happens when you're actually trying to match up footage, what happens people sometimes get comfortable and they'll move like this and that. And uh, you know, we're using two cameras. So like, you know, there is a little bit of saving grace for us. But for the most part, you wanna have a chair that doesn't move. So when you are doing interviews, such as for doing one camera, you don't wanna have this weird like jitter going back and forth. But using a chair like this is not ideal for this type of shoot. All right, so when you are doing lighting, for the most part, you know, I see a lot of people sometimes hang this way too high up here. What you wanna do is keep your cables, you know, at a minimum point that you're not gonna have any tension and then you're gonna have and keep a low profile throughout the floor. So we just wrapped up the last interview for today. Uh, the next thing we're gonna be doing now is capturing their company uh, barbecue that they're having to kind of show the company culture. So now we're gonna break down this room, put everything back to the way we found it, and then get ready for the second and last part of our shoot. Hey guys, just got back to the house, we wrapped up. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.